everyone, I'm Miss Audrey at the Rockles Memorial Library and welcome to the Summer Challenge. Today we are going to make popsicle stick catapults. And so here's one that I made and this is really the only popsicle stick catapult design that I've been able to successfully make. There are lots of other designs that you can find online, but I tried really, really hard and <laughs> I couldn't make any of them work. So if you guys want to try a different one, there's lots of videos and instructions and stuff you can find on online that show you how to make other designs. But today I'm going to show you how to make this one. And, and this one's pretty fun, so you're not missing out. So all you're going to need is a plastic spoon, some rubber bands, and some of these fat popsicle sticks. And so we're gonna start off, I've got like a big stack of them on here. So we're gonna start with stacking them up and it looks like I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, all stacked up there. So we're gonna wanna count out 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there's our 14 popsicle sticks. All right, so you wanna get them in a nice big stack like this. And now we're gonna rubber band them together so they stay. You want to wrap your rubber band around as many times as you can so it's nice and tight. That rubber band, I got it around there four times. Now we're going to go to the other end, do another rubber band, two, three, four times, all wrapped around nice and tight. But it might not be as many times that you have to wrap your rubber band around if you've got a smaller rubber band. Or maybe you've got a really big rubber band and you've got to wrap it around like five or six times. That can happen too. So now, the next thing we're going to do, if you look at this one, we've got a popsicle stick that goes between the very bottom one on our stack and the rest of the stack. So we're just going to take a popsicle stick and we're going to try and kind of shove it in there on our other one. Oops, I dropped it. <laughs> Here we go gonna try and make like a little gap in there and stick the popsicle stick in there just like that and then the next thing we have we have this popsicle stick that connects to it and they're rubber banded together and so I'm gonna go ahead and get one more popsicle stick and we're just gonna kinda stick it on here just like that. We're gonna try and get this one as tight as we can because this is the one that gives you your bounce. And last, we've got our spoon. So we're just gonna kind of wedge the spoon underneath the rubber band there so that it's on there too. There we go. And then we're gonna use one more rubber band to hold the spoon on at the top so it doesn't flip up like this. This is a really stretchy rubber band. I'm gonna have to wrap it around there a lot of times. Four, five, six times, wow. Yep. And there you go. That is your popsicle stick catapult. Now you're gonna wanna give it a, little, a couple of tries because you might have to adjust how far it sticks up or how low it sticks down because that is going to depend on how far whatever you put on your catapult will fly. 
So I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give my new one a try. And we're going to see if I can get a bean. I just got a big bag of beans here. If I can get a bean to go into this cup. This is probably this is probably going to take me a lot of tries. First, let's see what happens. Well, I think that worked pretty well, but it didn't go in the cup. Yep, let's Watch the cup there, see if it'll go in. Well, that took a really long time, but I think I finally got one in there. So when you guys try it, maybe you want to use something other than beans or maybe use a bigger cup, maybe a bowl, something that might, a bigger target, or maybe you guys will just be better at it than Miss Audrey. Maybe I'm just not very good at catapults. <laughs> well, I hope you guys really enjoy making your catapults, your popsicle stick catapults, and whether you make the one that I showed you or if you try to come up with your own design you can do it however you want and we've got a couple of secret codes for you guys today um, the secret code for the kids is stone soup and the secret code for the teens is sherbet lemon bye